David Girard here. I'm in Manhattan, Kansas at Kansas State University going to see the insect zoo. So, they didn't have anything overnight. There's a few sticks and stems in there they decided they didn't want to deal with. So, so they, they do kind of like these little pasta flowers. So that's kind of fun. And then this is a catalpa leaf. So they go right after it. At first, it's it's an enemy. At first, they're they're just defending their space, and then they'll calm down in a second and actually get to work on it. Is that rim on the, the thing? Is that enough to keep them inside there? Most of the time. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> it's a liquid Teflon that oh, we can okay. paint onto certain surfaces. Because what does it do? It's, it's just slide slide off. They just slide off. They can't. Oh, I see. They climb all the way up. They can't get a foothold in it. So we'll come back to this, and once they start actually doing the behavior that we want you to oh. see, um, they'll be. Yeah. I always want to give people a little lesson in animal taxonomy. So what we actually keep here, this is the arthropod zoo, would be a more correct way to describe it. So we don't just keep insects, we keep uh, crustaceans, arachnids, millipedes, and centipedes. So all the animals that we keep here have a jointed external skeleton, and they have to, to, to shed that skeleton to grow. So just like a cicada taking its, its skin off, all these animals go through that process as well. Mm. Kind of look around this room, see what might interest you the most. The bees are always mm. interesting mm. for people. They're oh, switch it to the other side. Do they have to go outside? They do. So they have a we can go to the window over here. Oh, okay. So it's even worse on that side. Oh, see the little yeah, tube here. Oh. So on a day like today, they'll definitely be outside as long as it's 50 degrees. And uh, it's not that's really fluorescing. It's, it's reflecting the, the black light back at us. They're not producing light. They're just reflecting light. Hmm. So it works really well when you have a really dark oh. <laughs> cage. Uh -huh. So it's kind of a fun trick. So if you're going to go camping in an area where you might need to to check where you're going to put your mm. sleeping bag, this will come in real handy. Something these are down at the Wichita Mountains in Oklahoma. Yep. Yeah. They come out when it's real wet and they're everywhere. Yep. Oh, yeah. so the, are they the smaller ones? It's called a flame skimmer, is that what it is? Oh, so it's probably yeah, the skimmers are kind of a medium sized one. Yeah. It's really bright. Unfortunately a lot of times they the color fades a little bit. Now like one if one carries a piece over here, do they just stay over here? Will they yeah. go back? They'll drop it off in the back. Really? Yeah. They'll let someone else kind of take it from there. Uh -huh. It's so funny. It's like, I wonder if they wake up in the morning and say, oh, I got to go work again. Yeah, I don't think you know, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There's, there's benefits to, you know, thinking as much as we do, but that's, yeah. I don't think other animals have to worry about that. Right, they, it's just, they just do it. Yeah. They don't, you know, they don't really work like we do. 